Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another charm video. So today I'm actually doing a bit of a comparison review between three charm brands. So my first brand is of course Pandora, which is my main brand, my one true love. Um, there are a lot of other charm companies in the world. Pandora may not even be the biggest or the best known, but it is certainly one of the biggest and best known. It is my favorite simply because of its vast um, number of charms and availability and the options, especially when I travel. I know if I find a Pandora store, they are going to have travel exclusives. They're going to stand behind their pieces. If I have a problem, they will typically fix it for me. Um, and I really like the quality of their pieces. Of course, the main reason that somebody might go to another brand is price. Pandora is really high quality, but it is also higher price than a lot of other charms that come at lower price points. Um, and so the first time I ever got charms that were not Pandora were Gino's charms, which I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, G N O C E. And I got those because they have so many fun character beads that I wanted for my entertainment themed bracelet. This started out as Harry Potter only, and then it turned into just all my favorite things I love. So now I've got um, Boo from uh, Mario on here. I've got a little Stingray. I've got Sailor Moon. I've got Tinkerbell. I've got um, <laughs> a Lily of the Belly for Animal Crossing. I've got Gengar for Pokemon and Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. And I, most of these are Gino's beads because they have those character beads. So for me, if Pandora had these designs, I would have bought them from Pandora like I did my Harry Potter charms. Um, and I, this is my only bracelet where I mix brands because it is a leather bracelet and not a snake chain. I feel comfortable doing that. You typically don't want to mix brands on a snake chain because then it will void your warranty on your snake chain bracelets. That is, it, it's all personal preference. You know, if you want a bracelet that's all the different brands, go for it. Of course, there are other high quality brands like uh, Troll Beads or Camil Camilla, I think I wanna say. Um, and I've looked at all of those charms. I have thought long and hard about buying some of those charms. They are a bit more, I don't wanna say generic because some of my Pandora charms are very generic, like these Magnolia Blossoms or the Spacers, you know. Um, some of these other brands make charms just as beautiful as Pandora does. But I have a unhealthy charm obsession, as you can see. And if I open up my obsession to every charm brand in the world, uh, my wish list, which is already extensive, even though I have a large collection, would never end. And so I try to limit myself to one brand or if there are certain specialty charms that I need. But recently, a Paris company from France reached out. I don't know exactly how you pronounce their name. It's G-O-N-A. I'm pronouncing it Gona, but I am, I took French all through high school, so I am 100% positive that that is an American butchering of their name. I apologize, but I don't know how to pronounce their name. Um, and they sent me this beautiful uh, marine themed bracelet, which you guys know I love all things ocean and cruising. I'm not a huge fan of gold and a lot of their collections are gold, um, but that is purely, you know, personal preference. So I wanted to do a comparison between the three brands that I have today, the new one, the Gona, the Genos, and of course, Pandora. So I've gathered a few different examples. My one bracelet from Gona. Um, from Gino's, I have most of my charms on this black leather bracelet. So we will look at all of those charms, but they actually do send a free snake chain bracelet and safety chain with most of their orders. Um, you can see mine's empty. I don't wear it and I will tell you why, but I've ordered from them three times, so I have three of these. I've given 
two away. They're great starter bracelets. Uh, I don't, I have, I have other bracelets. I prefer mostly my Pandora ones. And then I did want to show you as well, my cruise theme bracelet, which is the most one-to-one -one comparison between the new Gona Charms and Pandora. They both even have the same, well, not the same. They both have similar, uh, seashell clasps. I have similar charms on both. And so that's a very one-to-one -one kind of look at the two. So we're going to take a look at the charms, at the bracelets, and I will give you my honest opinion. I am not going to go ahead and rank these from best to worst because I don't think there's necessarily a best brand or a worst brand. There are things I like about all three companies. If I had to only ever buy one brand ever again in my entire life, it would obviously be Pandora. I love them the best. Um, but again, that is partially because of their ease of accessibility. I know whether I am in Alla frickin' Bama or I am in the Caribbean or I am in Europe, I can find a Pandora charm that will fit my bracelet and I really like that. So let's go ahead and get into the looks of the actual charms. This video is not sponsored, FYI. I have bought everything myself except for the gifted Gona charms. Um, but the unboxing that they sent this to me for was uh, technically sponsored. They, they didn't pay me anything. They just sent me these beautiful charms. They are very pretty. Um, but I did not tell them I was doing this video. Not sure what they'll think of this video, but you know, I want to see how everything looks compared to each other. And I figured y'all probably do too. So let's get started. All right, so we've got quite a few things to look through. Let's start with the direct comparison of my new bracelet. This is the Gona, G-O-N-A, compared to my Pandora version. So obviously this is a leather bracelet versus a snake chain. So I did grab a snake chain bracelet as well. But if we're just looking at the clasps, Everything Pandora is a little smaller. So you can see that the Gona clasp is a bit bigger. The charms are a bit bigger. Um, even a direct uh, cruise. There we go. Cruise ship to cruise ship charm. You can see how much bigger the Gona charm is versus the Pandora. The Gona has a lot more CZs on all of its pieces, whereas Pandora likes to use more oxidized details. Pandora is definitely more detailed. The Pandora pieces are also a heavier weight than the Gona is. The, the bracelet altogether is heavier, which when I first started wearing Pandora bracelets, like a whole bracelet, filled with charms kind of makes your wrists hurt but you do get used to it if you have weak wrists for example i have arthritis in my wrists that can be a challenge i can't wear a whole stack of full bracelets if i'm wearing a full bracelet that is all i can wear otherwise i have to wear a partial bracelet stacked so i might be able to wear multiple of these i don't know uh, i don't have multiple of them and preference, personal preference, I don't like the way multiple stacked bracelets look. So, you know, but overall, the general comparison is going to be that the Gona charms are bigger than Pandora's and they are lighter than Pandora. So I think they're probably going to be more easily nicked or snagged. I haven't worn them long term to determine that. They both are fairly high quality. They both have beautiful detail. Um, the CZs on the Gona pieces are very pretty, whereas the detail on the Pandora pieces are very pretty. You can see just the difference in the overall look. These charms are all very heavily CZ'd. Even the button charm is heavily CZ'd, whereas the Pandora button charms do have CZs, but they have more detail, more enamel work. 
So there you go. There's some CZs. Of course, Pandora has a bigger selection. And so if you are looking for all CZs, you could probably find that. Whereas this was almost half of the Marine collection from Gona. Um, I picked most of their pieces. They don't have nearly the selection. They're a newer company, so they may get there eventually. Pandora, of course, has been out for many years. So it's just, you know, not necessarily quality over quality, just preference. As far as Geno's goes, they are definitely more like Gona as they are a lighter weight. This little octopus is Gona are not gonna genos they're a lighter weight they don't have as many cz's where's another one a little sorting hat do not have as many cz's the uh, stoppers do these are gonas or not gonna i swear i'm gonna keep doing that i'm sorry genos um boo but they have more detail like Pandora does. And I have worn this bracelet for years. So even with that lighter weight, you know, they've held up fine. I'm not finding a lot of tarnishing on the bales. You can see Boo's bale is pretty small and delicate. He has not, you know, broken off. He's not gotten scuffed. So lighter weight doesn't necessarily mean more prone to breaking. Um, here's they're a platform nine and three quarters charm, which is heavily CZ'd. And I don't see any uh, necessarily wear and tear on it. I find that Gino's charms are very um, character driven. They have a lot of beads, like this is Sailor Moon. They have a lot of beads that are specifically character. Now they will never say, like if you go on Gino's website and search Sailor Moon, they will never say Sailor Moon, uh, Luna and Star Pendant. It will say something like Black Moon and Star. Or um, this is Gengar, he's a Pokemon, and it will say like Pocket Monster. So they are definitely, you know, skirting the copyright laws there, toothless. I don't remember what they call him. I will put links down below, but he's definitely not called Toothless. So it just depends on what you're looking for between all the different charm brands. As far as the bracelets themselves go, I grabbed this one. This is my original Pandora bracelet. So I've had this one for over 10 years. You can see that it has probably the most wear and tear of any of my bracelets, but nothing has ever broken. Um, and here is the safety chain. So Pandora safety chains tend to have smaller details. This is family forever, I believe is what it says. And it has just the chain detail. Whereas I really liked that Gona's safety chain has actual almost like charms. Like how pretty is that? Now they're huge. They could get caught on something, but I thought that detail was really pretty. Likewise, most of Pandora's clips, you can see clips here, are quite substantial. They go over the clip stations. Oop. Just got my nails done. So they go over those clip stations, whereas Gona does not have clip stations. Now, Pandora has recently come out with more and more bracelets that don't have clip stations and instead have uh, silicone lined clips so that you can uh, design your bracelet however you like and not be restricted by those clip stations. Here is a Gino's bracelet. And you can see they subscribe to that same notion. They do not have any clip stations. They do have silicone line clips and safety chains. So you can see that this safety chain 
a silicone line, meaning it won't slide. It will stay where you put it. But the chain is definitely just It feels less sturdy to me as far as chains go. And it is a little bit uh, bigger weave, less tight weave. Whereas the, the gold one there is tighter like Pandora's. But you know, at the end of the day, like they're all working. Um, I could pull too hard, but when I pull, none of them come loose, which is the goal. <laughs> I do like that as far as Gino's goes, um, you can see I have no chain charms on this. They will send you a free bracelet with almost every order that you make, which is great if you are a beginner collector or you need um, a new bracelet. Um, as far as Pandora's bracelets go, you know, they have a lot of variety. Like you can pick, this was, this was my first bracelet and it's their just original clasp with the bail. You can start to get more interesting bales like this one or clasps, which has flowers on it. Um, but I find, and the reason I don't use these, I tend to give these to friends who are looking to start collecting charms is that the the snake portion uh, catches on your arm hair, which I'm not a fan of. I've never had that problem with Pandora, and I don't think that I will ever have that problem with Gona here, because as you can see, the snake portions are long and slender. It's a very elegant uh, look, and it, it feels very smooth and comfortable. Pandora is snake chain. Aha. Okay. Pandora's snake chain is similar. They look similar. However, I don't find that they catch. Now you will also notice that Pandora, this is a newer bracelet. It still has some rigidity um, and it will get much looser over time and more flexible the more you wear it. Gino's comes pretty flexible at the beginning and maybe that's the difference. I'm not sure. Gona's is still pretty rigid. I would guess though with those longer links it will never quite get as flexible as a Pandora one will. And Pandora will tell you right on the website, the more you wear their snake chains, the longer you have them, the more flexible they will get. And they will actually stretch a little bit and they will get a little bigger. So take that into account. As far as leathers go, I can only show you Pandora's. I don't have any um, from the other two brands, but this is my only bracelet that I have mixed pieces on. I will not mix pieces on a snake chain, especially one with threads, because other people's charms, especially on a Pandora bracelet, they don't always have the same size uh, threads. Your charms can get stuck, and then you, that will void your warranty. Whereas Pandora, you know those threads are going to be the same. So if you keep your Pandora charm, on a Pandora bracelet, you're good to go. Whereas a leather bracelet, you can see this guy does not have thread stations um, and it does not have that same problem. So I do I do have quite a few Geno's charms on here as well as uh, Pandora. So like this little dragon, the cute little winged key, Hedgewag, these are all Pandora. Whereas the platform nine and three quarters, my little uh, Lily of the Valley for Animal Crossing and my Octopus for Animal Crossing. Those are all Genos. My button charm, button charm, I wear them this way. Uh, these are both Pandora, but they don't have threads to get caught on. So they do fit. They will be interchangeable. You can see I have my Genos stoppers on a Pandora bracelet. They work just fine. They are still silicone lined. They still stop charms wherever I put them. 
So I'm not going to sit here and rank the charm brands for you. I don't necessarily think one is superior to the others in any way. Um, a big part of it I do think is name brand. And the part of that I like is like I said at the beginning of this video, whether I'm going to Alaska or Singapore or Hawaii or just down the street to my local Pandora store, I know I can get Pandora charms that will fit my bracelet and that they will stand behind. Whereas I've never been to a Gino or a Gona store. Now Gona does have stores in France, in Paris. I was there last year and I'll be back next year. So I may stop in and show you guys an actual Gona store the next time I visit in September, October. We'll see. I don't remember when I'm going, but, um, but that's the only place that they have stores. You know, I can't get a Gona charm for this bracelet when I go to Alaska next week with my dad and see the whales. I can get a Pandora charm. So I hope that this little comparison was helpful to you. I know that there are lots of other charm brands. This is not even close to the full uh, collection of options out there in the universe. I really kind of want some troll beads and some Camilla beads, but again, I will just buy everything if I'm allowed. So let me know what your favorite brand is down below. And if there's anything else from the, my collection, that would be helpful to see. In the meantime, I will see you later. Bye.